our government is broke. As a result, they're going to take very desperate and even radical measures that might seem unconstitutional in order to save our financial system. I believe the government could soon enact what I call financial martial law. Most people only know about ordinary martial law, which usually happens after a natural disaster or some kind of riot. And as most people know, when martial law goes into effect, all the conventional rules of liberty go out the window. Well, financial martial law is a bit different, but it's a heck of a lot scarier. They can literally come in and force you to invest in certain things because if nobody wants government bonds anymore, and that's going to come, they'll say, well, if you have a retirement fund, you will buy government bonds. Martial law means force. When financial martial law goes into effect, all the financial rules you know about will go out the window. Everything you've earned, saved, invested in, it's all fair game for the U.S. government to seize. Crisis situation, the government will put their hands on your bank account, stock market account, your retirement account, your pension, you name it. They'll change the laws on what we can do with your money, how much you can access and where you can spend it. They might even change the money itself. The people will eventually have to wake up and find out what's going on. American history has shown us many times that when the government needs to save itself, it won't hesitate to steal your money. If you don't think this can happen right here in America, wake up. I worked in Washington for over 30 years, Jared. I, believe me, I, I know what these people are capable of and I know how they think. You absolutely must learn how to protect yourself, whether you've got $10,000 or $10 million in the bank. It won't matter. The government's coming for you and your money. And once the laws are in place, good luck. This is all a consequence of what the Fed has been doing over the past decade, when it, trillions and trillions of artificial new dollars made their way into the economy. Well, it's important for people to understand this because this is a much bigger deal than the mortgage crisis we saw in 2008. When the currency collapses, nearly everything else will collapse with it. Stocks, bonds, commodities, you name it. The U.S. dollar will ultimately lose its status as the world's reserve currency, and people will reject the dollar for almost any alternative. When you destroy a currency, you destroy the entire economy. We'll see a total breakdown of the stock market. Imagine 2008, Black Monday and the crash of 29, all happening in a single morning. But what really worries me isn't necessarily a stock market crash. The real killer will be the effect of all this on our society. People won't have any clue what to do when there's a line around the block just to access an ATM or when banks start shutting down. They won't have any idea what to do when stores stop accepting dollars as payments or when no one's willing to make a loan anymore. But let me tell you, it's going to be a total descent into economic, social, political, and moral chaos. The evidence is all around us, and yet the average American is still totally unprepared right now. The government's not going to save you or anyone else. The government couldn't help even if they wanted to. Look at Flint, Michigan recently, the town whose water got poisoned. They brought in filtered water for the government, but nothing to help ordinary citizens. They even shut off people's sewer systems as they refused to pay for poison water. If you look at history, you'll see that many people will be completely blindsided and lose the bulk of their savings in a matter of weeks. Again, for most people, the only warning you're going to get is me sitting here right now talking to you. You won't hear about this on the news until it's already happened.